Today, my cheerleading team and I will be competing at the Cheerleading Worlds for the first time ever. This is the world's biggest cheerleading competition that only the top teams can attend. So first, I need to get some advice from a pro former cheerleader. My name is Jack Payne and I'm a 2019 world champion for cheerleading. I don't even know how. So what's your best advice for someone competing at Worlds for the first time? For the first time? Oh my gosh. Okay, if it's your first time competing at Worlds, you really need to make sure that you're just breathing and staying calm. Basically the exact opposite of what I'm doing right now. But yeah, you just need to breathe and take it step by step in your routine. Me and Anna are racing to 3 million subscribers, so make sure to subscribe to me. Let's go. No, subscribe to me. I no, to me, 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 me. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so we can win the race. Two days before my team competes at Worlds is a show off at the Disney Sports Resort football field where all the Worlds teams come to practice and show off our routines. It's now the next day and my team and I are about to head to the Worlds show off. My team is currently practicing our first stunt. practicing we cheered on some of the other teams which was so fun to watch. Then it was time for us to perform. team for the day. To start the day, we all went together on a bus for a team photo shoot. I haven't seen all the photos yet, but from what I've seen so far, I think they turned out really nicely. Are you guys excited for Worlds tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Are you excited for Worlds? I'm so know. excited. <laughs> then we did some more stunts on the football field, and in case you've ever wondered, this is what a stunt looks like from a flyer's perspective. Hello. And then one final team practice before we perform tomorrow. It is now competition day and I am so excited. While I get ready, I'm just going to drink a protein shake using Ritual Protein. This one that I'm using is their 18 plus essential daily protein shake. And thank you so much to Ritual for partnering with me on this video. I find when I go to cheer competitions, I can feel kind of gross if I eat a huge meal before competing. So drinking a protein shake like this before helps to keep me full. I also love that this protein powder is vegan and it has all nine essential amino acids in it. I'm just going to mix this with water to Today, but it is way better if you put it into a smoothie. I just don't have smoothie ingredients here since I'm traveling. So I just add a scoop into the water like this and then shake it up in this ritual shaker bottle. That should be good. <laughs> I do still like the taste of it in water though. It just gives it a nice creamy vanilla flavor and there's no artificial sweeteners in it. So it's not too sweet, just a subtle sweetness. Now I need to get ready for the competition, but if you want to try it ritual, you can use my code Anna20 at checkout to get 20% off your first month when you go to the link in the description. Cheers. Right now I'm obviously just doing my makeup and then I'll do my cheer hair. I love cheer uniforms. I think they're so pretty, but one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the bows. I find they're just kind of hard to put into my hair sometimes. I'm also not the best at doing my makeup, as you can probably tell. This usually takes me a couple tries, so I'm gonna see if I can get the first one good this time. <laughs> See, this is what I 
mean? They're so hard to put in. There we go. I also just straightened my hair this morning because we usually wear our hair straight. But we have a team group chat and everyone decided to wear it curly today. So now I need to curl this. I'm now ready to head to the competition and I'm honestly getting a little nervous. Only a few teams left to go until we have one chance to nail our routine. It's now time for my first ever world's performance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sky Athletics Canada Dream. time worlds team from a small town we knew going into the competition that we were not going to win but instead our goal was to give the best performance we can looking back i am so proud of my team for making it to worlds it was definitely an experience i will never forget